Hi, my name is Juan Caballero. I'm a senior software developer at ABI. I'm working in the microinformatics team. So for my talk, I would like to show you a little about metagenomic data analysis we have in workflows in CWL. For this, I would like to explain a little about metagenomics and more in particular, our tool called Magnify and the integration with the common word for language. And, and the last, I would like to show you how we are deploying this on the cloud. Microbes are everywhere. So in this case, in every in each sample that you can collect either on the water, on the air, or even on the, on the soil, you can get microbes. And many of them are impossible to cultivate. So in this case, we can sequence their DNA. Uh, this sequencing, of course, produces a lot of short reads, or in this case, small pieces of the genome, and that is need to be assembled for to understand what is the microbes that are contained in that sample. For that, sequencing technology advances a lot, and many researchers are using the, this power of these tools to generate a lot of data related to these uh, environmental samples. At API, we have this Magnify service that can be used to assemble, analyze, and archive different micro data sets. Uh, there are different types of in inputs so you can accept. For example, we can accept your amplicons or the full metagenome or meta, meta transcriptome, but many of them will require assembly. And genome assembly is a hard task that requires high-end performing computing uh, hardware, and the use has different pipelines to, to produce that. Uh, this analysis can allow us to comprise on the data, different data sets, and in many cases, this data is coming from public, public data set before or after the publication of the results for the researchers. Magnify in the back is a, is a complex workflow, including more than 20 different interconnected applications. There are diverse runtimes and dependencies that need to be satisfied to run the pipeline. And in many cases, this requires a lot of configuration and parameterization for the data and processing. So one of the ways we want to focus is to try to put this pipeline, or in, in this case, this uh, magnified pipeline, in some way that is easy for us to modify and also have provenance and scalability and reuse all these components. So for that, we're using common word for language, in particular, because uh, we like the declarative format uh, for the tool, and in this case, the workflow execution. Uh, besides that, is a, we are aware of this standard developed by the community, and define a lot of elements that we can uh, enable for our pipeline de development. More important, we can use containers, for example, Docker and others, uh, to share research, in this case, on the computing cluster uh, with locally installed software to avoid to reinstall every time we run something. In particular, the components of the common workflow are really important for us because we can have different definitions. In this case, for example, the metadata for the tool we are using and define the executables, including inputs, outputs, and configuration we run for each, to run each one of these steps. These workflows also allow us to control a little more how the data be, is being processed. So in this case, we can interconnect different components, including inputs to other inputs for other tools, and getting back in this case to uh, passing the data processing in and out. This, of course, is really important for us because we take on many tools and that will share different files at different points of the analysis. Another big component is the reutilization. Uh, many of these tools have been developed not only by our group, in different groups, for example, MGRAS. In this case, they are creating also common workflows, uh, pipelines or workflows that we can reuse. So for example, MGRAS have some components for RNA prediction that we can integrate in our own pipeline to facilitate the integration with different elements. More in particular, from the different CDL implementations, we are running TOIL, uh, 
in this case we select all because it's scalable efficient and cross-platform pipeline uh, uh, most uh, important for us at least is to integrate with different components we have available in ABI for example we have a different system with Slurm management or LSF or the other hand we for example we can use Docker or Singularity to different components on that that gives a lot of flexibility and adaptability for the pipeline with minimal modifications. However, in this case, TOL and CD World as tools are becoming um, become mature, we have also an adoption uh, that happened slowly, uh, a slow development process because we are learning how to express our pipelines in this case on this language. Um, some other tools we noticed is, for example, sometimes the boogie is complex because toy logs are extremely verbose, and in this case, sometimes it's not too easy for us to identify what is the errors when we run something. Uh, other particular is, for example, we have a integration with LSF, so many times some errors occur between the communication with with both different systems, in this case, toy and LSF. The other part is the complexity. As I mentioned, we have a large set of, the, in this case, of tools being integrated in the pipeline. And to be more precise, and we are commonly expanding these two tool sets. So in this case, the complexity is growing every time. Besides the, the size of the data we are analyzing, in this case, an experiment could be several gigabytes and transferring data within servers and work, et cetera, could be a, a bottleneck in this case on the, on the performance. Uh, but so far, at least on the our experience using CDL you know, and Toil, have been successful. So we have many of these pilots already implemented and running on other systems. To explain a little more about the system, I show you that the Magnify is a web service, but that web service is highly, uh, highly connected with the NA, the European Nuclear Archive, and that is only the front end that the users see. Behind that, we have a complex uh, configuration. In this case, there are different uh, cluster and servers that run different configurations. For example, we have Stoil, Docker, Singularity, etc. And many of these uh, are either physical uh, machines or could be also on the cloud. For example, we have a couple of clouds and more recently we start working with Google to start seeing the, 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 use, of, the use of these resources on the cloud for the analysis. So in summary, I would like to, to say that we have successfully created pipelines based on CWL, in this case for the metagenomic analysis. In many of these uh, pipelines, we already integrated in the cloud infrastructure. In this case, we also use Terraform for controlling these configurations. And more important, we are trying to expand this a little more on the on different cloud systems. For example, I mentioned already GCP, but we are trying to include a, a, anything that we can use. In the future, obviously, we would like to have more control over the orchestrations, in this case, on different environments, on general configurations. And this data flow is also important for us because, uh, again, we have large data sets that need to be analyzed and processed. Finally, we all also like to optimize how these data are being processed and management on the, on the analysis. This is my last slide. Of course, I would like to thank uh, many people, in particular in NBA, uh, to the Rob Finn, that is our team leader. And obviously, the, the team is uh, split into main groups. One is the Magnifier service that it belongs. We also have the research team. So I would like to say thanks for your time, and I hope you are interested on, on this stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs>